So we are talking about the movie The Horde. This is a 2016 movie directed by Jared Cohen, who is responsible for a great many B-movies uh, for the Asylum and TV movies and things like that. And this one stars Paul Logan as the, kind of the, the hero here and has got a host of, kind of B-movie favourites. Vernon Wells, Don the Dragon Wilson, uh, Costas Mandalore. Bill Mosley, all make appearances in this film. So it has a kind of a, a very recognisable cast if you are into this kind of thing. And this film can be described as been very kind of one easy tagline. This is Rambo versus Mutants, basically. So the the plot here, to give you a little bit more detail than that, focuses on a group of students as they are heading out into the kind of the, the wilderness to take wildlife photography. And they're basically uh, on some kind of extra credit thing and their teacher is uh, this kind of this woman who is whose boyfriend is Paul Logan's character, who is a Navy SEAL. And he decides to tag along for the ride and just as well. And so they head out into the wilderness and they're actually besieged by a town's worth of kind of inbred mutants who want to mate with the women and use the men for food. And of course, it's up to Paul, Paul Logan to defend the group and kill off uh, as many of these kind of bad guys as he can. So that's pretty much your plot. So let's talk about the positives and negatives of the Horde. So the the main thing here, this is a B movie through and through. If you are looking for a deep, um, subtle story with kind of lots of layers, then you ain't gonna find it here. This is purely a kind of a fun B movie, but there isn't much depth to it. And there are so many cliches here. It literally looks like it's opened the book of cliches and gone, well, that one, that one, that one, that one. I mean, the characters of the kind of students are all your sort of your typical archetypes, basically. You've obviously got the slutty one. You've got the kind of the uh, the bitchy one who happens to be this kind of guy in this one, but it's still, still basically that character, the Virginia one, all of those kind of things. Uh, well, the interesting thing here, I suppose, it gives it a little bit of an extra dimension. Not only have you got this kind of whole town's worth of kind of at least like these freaks, they're actually led by a trio of escaped convicts who have kind of like uh, co-opted them to kind of uh, make them their minions, so to speak. So there is a kind of, um, they do have a certain plan, I would say. Uh, but like I said, there is this, this movie is so full of cliches. One of the main one being Paul Logan's character. Now this was actually written by him. Now, if you are use the internet at all, which I'm assuming you do, uh, watching this video, you may have heard this the the term Mary Sue, and I've obviously been directed a lot to the new Star Wars film. The male equivalent is a Gary Sue, and Paul Logan's character is a Gary Sue. He can do everything. He, you know, he's a top marine basically. He is, you know, a super nice guy. He's a super romantic. He's like all round great guy. He never really fails in this film. You know, even sort of using weapons that you don't, wouldn't think Marines necessarily will be using, like, you know, uh, bow and arrow, that kind of thing. He's fantastic at for great marksman. All of these things. And this obviously maybe is down to the fact that obviously Paul Logan has written this and obviously projected himself in this kind of role. So you never really get the impression that um, that Logan's character is, is in any danger. He just seems too good at everything and doesn't really ever fail when he, has, when he actually faces someone. There's one... One scene maybe where he gets, they think he's dead and he isn't, but that's literally it. So the stakes of this film are, are low because you don't ever feel that sort of sense of danger. Um, now, there are a few kind of plot hell holes here I, was, I wasn't so keen on. For example, um, they, we see that there's a prologue at the beginning. We see that they, they sort of get this other kind of like couple. And we see in this, this, this rape room, yes, there's a rape room. There was a couple of girls chained up, and they even make a comment of, oh, you won't be alone. And I'm thinking, so are these people alive? But Paul Logan literally just ignores them um, and kind of leaves them there. Doesn't even check to see if they're alive. I'm not sure if they're meant to be dead or not, but they're clearly just not, you know, prosthetics. They're people there. And he just kind of leaves them there, doesn't even check whether they're alive. And if they were dead, that's fine, I guess. But you would have thought you would have seen them check, but you don't. So a couple of little nitpicks like that. So on the on the positive side, this is a fun film. Okay, despite all the kind of the criticisms, I would say it is fun. It is action packed. Um, there is a lot of kind of like I mean, it's it's less of a horror film, more of an action film. 
but there are kind of lots of kind of fun fight scenes there's lots of kind of explosions some of the kind of the makeup effects are quite you know quite extravagant in some places uh, and we get kind of uh, some context about you know what's actually happened to these people so that despite its faults this is still a fun film if you are into to be movies but this you know like i said the the um the storytelling is is so kind of like basic you, you know i don't think mainstream audiences will be too too fussed about it i also want to um give a shout out to tiffany uh, brower who plays the teacher because i thought she was a very good actress here um I thought she seemed very natural and really seemed like she was reacting genuinely to kind of these situations, both positive and negative. Uh, you know, it's easy to kind of overlook acting, I think, in some of these sort of style of films, but I felt her acting specifically was very, very good and is kind of worth mentioning. Uh, Paul Logan, it, you know, he, he makes a kind of likable guy and he, the, the way he's obviously characters are written is to be this kind of super great guy, you know, all round great guy, he's kind of fair. And he's, you know, he's kind of like very romantic. He's very, you know, nice to all the kids and all that sort of thing. And he's not necessarily a terrible actor, but he's, you know, he's kind of uh, a little B-movie-ish, shall we say. But, as I say, the, the actress who plays Selena, who is uh, uh, Tiffany Bauer, Brower, I think she's very good. So it was kind of fun. I, I did enjoy it, I have to say. It was, you know, it was a great kind of like action romp. In a in kind of like a you know a B movie uh, way, um, very much like a kind of Rambo versus Mutants. It really is. But overall, I will give this movie a five point five out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.